as we've seen, our displays can get um, pretty elaborate. And there are times that we're going to want to organize our information in, in, in different ways so we can get to what we want more easily. Um, EOS software has provided us with three quick to uh, quick access screen displays and they are right up here at the top uh, left corner it's right up where the software logo is in the upper left hand corner and they're numbered one two and three currently you're on display one which is to showing your snapshot one with all four frames and the tabs associated with them if we click on our second display you'll see that there is nothing there, right? And this little square box with the plus sign says, hey, um, do you want to add a tab? By clicking here, you'll get a list of the display tabs that are available, as well as control tabs. And in this example, what I want to do is go ahead and add a patch tab. If we click on the patch tab, you'll now see that we have our patch screen displayed and we've discussed patch in other videos and we have the CIA where we can assign types and labels and we can do all kinds of different things to our patch screen. So now to go back to our first display, oh patch, patch is natively in blind. So you'll see that this tab is outlined in blue and the text is in blue. Patch works behind the screen, behind the scenes, and so um, it is a blind tab. It is always a blind tab. Now, if I go back to my, um, what I think of as my home display, you'll see that things aren't quite configured the way that I would like them to be. It's because I'm still in blind, and what I have to do is go to the live display, and everything will come out fine. Now, if I want to go back to patch, when I go to patch my patch tab again, you'll see that it's it's a it's I can't work with it. It's not like what I remember, but that's because the tab is not selected. If I just select the tab, I'm now back in blind and my patch tab is open and I can assign patches, I can assign a label and fixture types, I can do all kinds of things that I need to do in patch. So again, to get out of this, right, we just want to go back to our home screen, right, and we'll go to our virtual keyboard and say live, and now I'm back in snapshot one. Now, you have a third display option out here that you can configure in any way that you want. Let's click on this, and let's, let's go ahead and copy our um, cues, our um, cue tab. Uh, I think this is right. Yep. Mm. Not right. Great. This is a perfect example. I've called up a tab that I am um, that I didn't want. This isn't the screen that I want. So how do I get rid of this? All I have to do is press the uh, have the tab selected, press the escape key, and I can do that from my keyboard, or I can do it from my virtual keyboard and it will close that it'll close that tab it took me back to my home display the screen left me in blind so i go to live let's go to screen three again now let's add a tab and let's see if we can find the tab that we want oh how about our playback display tab let's add our playback display tab right so this is my cue list now we can also add another tab Let's add a tab here, and let's see, it wasn't cues, channels in use, channel table. Let's select this, right? So look, here are our, all of our channels in a, in a tab, and then here are all of our cues, and I can change between these two um, tabs just by selecting them. This is similar information to what you get on your snapshot one on your home screen, but they're just in a much larger, easier to see format. To get back to my home screen, I just click here and I will go into um, frames and frame sizes in the next video.